Hey everyone, so I'm stuck in my house in the middle of a blizzard and I decided to restore a, a super old and neglected knife that I found in the basement. We had just moved into this house and, uh, and as we were moving stuff in the basement, I found this particular knife. Uh, it was super rusty, it was painted green, um, and it was just shoved into a corner somewhere. A couple of features really piqued my interest about this knife. One was that it appeared to be made out of some sort of high carbon steel. It was all rusted over, but it could strike a ferro rod. Another aspect is the sort of traditional knife handle design. I mean, that this is kind of like a, almost like a Scandinavian uh, knife design with a uh, metal rivet that's driven all the way through um, the tang of the blade. Another interesting aspect is the fact that this um, blade even though it's a rat tail tang, appears to be full tang. I can, I can show you guys that. Okay. So, what is very curious about this particular knife is that the design is very old. And it, it appears that the construction might have been super old as well. So, let's give this blade a try. Alright folks, this blade performed extremely well. It sliced through paper like a razor blade. It is so sharp. Um, what's really amazing about it is that it seems to be sharper even than the uh, Mora knives that I have, uh, which is extremely surprising. 
uh, I believe I have a place within my inventory right now for a very small knife. And the philosophy is that the role of the small knife would be to do fine carving and food preparation. So I'll give this a blade a try and see how it goes. Overall, I would like to impress a certain point. And the point here is that good bushcrafting tools, good knives, good axes, they don't necessarily have to come from high dollar you know, stores. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on, on good tools. They might be found anywhere, especially within sort of like piles of old tools that, that you find in flea markets or abandoned in basements and places like that. And generally, older tools um, that has sort of been abandoned for decades, they, they tend to be made of very high quality steel and constructed in very um, you know, solid ways. And this knife, I think, is a, is a good testament to that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Take care and have a good night. Bye.